Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin and in this video I show you why I use Photomatix Pro most of the time for my HDR jobs. You can use all the other programs too, they do an amazing job in processing HDR, but there's one point why I use or why I like Photomatix Pro most and this is ghosting. Reduce ghosting artifacts is the most important point for me. I do most of the time landscape photography and if I have problems with the dynamic range of the camera and I have to choose HDR for to get a good image out of it, um, I have to go in in the bracketing and do five or seven pictures and then I have to process them with the HDR software and yeah like it is in the landscape you have trees you have wind going on there and you have problem with the trees and um, here I show you my way and the reason why I use photomatics here on this point, reduce ghosting artifacts, you choose semi manual. And uh, in a few moments, you will see what's the point for me to choose Photomatics Pro. Yeah, after the reducing noise and aligning, we have this window here and uh, we will zoom in a little bit so that you can see what's the problem most of the time in my landscape photography. This ghosting here that's going on in these trees, this is the most problem I have in my images and if you use uh, other softwares or the batch processing, you will see this ghosting artifacts going on here in your final image. And this is the point why I use this special way to process my HDR image. I drag with the mouse an area where the ghosting is going on, very roughly. And then I do a right click, mark the selection as ghosted area and uh, again we zoom in in this area here so we, you can see what's happened after I click the preview and there it is, no ghosting. Isn't it amazing? This is the point for me why I use um, this way in the photomatics for my HDR images. So after all is done and Photomatics is back in the normal mode, so you can choose all your adjustments, uh, then you can do whatever you want. You can uh, go through all the sliders, you can choose a default, or you can get in some presets, maybe your own presets, and yeah, you've done. And if you zoom in in the, in the image, in the area with the trees, you will see no ghosting at all. And that's the reason why I use this way to process my images. Yeah, this is it for now. Thanks for watching. See you the next time. Bye.